Oh hi, I have some issues uh, watching Netflix on my computer. Computer is kind of slow. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Do you? I see. I, I'm on your website. You say you provide support for Netflix. Yes, sir. Tell me how I can help you. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to watch Netflix, but it's it freezes sometimes. It's a bit slow. All right, sir. We apologize for the trouble. So in this case, let me take the remote access of the computer so that we can diagnose the problem. So are you sitting next to the computer right now? Uh, yes. So I'm giving you a website. Just open the website on your computer screen. Okay. Go ahead and open the website so that I can take the remote access. Yeah. So the, websi the website is going to be www w dot and uh, after that uh, a as an apple and as an mike another m as an mike y as an yankee another y as an yankee dot com okay okay i've got a green page all right so click on start working with me admin it's free Go ahead and click on it. Okay. Run or save? Click on run. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a program that it launched. Now what do you see? I see uh, something that says your ID. Tell me the ID number. What is the ID number? It's two nine seven six one nine eight six. All right, sir. I want you to go ahead and click on accept. Okay. <clears throat> and now you can see that I am on a computer. You can see my cursor that is moving around. Okay. See my cursor? Yes. Well, sir, you have a good knowledge about the computers, so I really appreciate your patience, and I really appreciate your work which you have done. Okay. So, before I proceed, I'd like to know that what was the last time when it was working fine? Uh, well, last week it was working fine, and then it started working a bit funny in the past few days. I'm going to diagnose the problem, okay, and on the basis of same, we will give you the resolution. Okay. Sir, are you sitting, are you sitting next to the computer right now? Yes, yes, I see the screen. Yes. And this computer, how old is that? Uh, two years, I think. Okay. So, so right now I can see that your computer has so many Trojan, which called error warnings, error warnings. Do you see that? Yeah. What What are these things? Piling up your computer drivers, which is piling up your Netflix drivers, which is piling up your keyboard, which is piling up your hardware part, and which is piling up your all kind of personal information. And also, they are piling up your network security and they are piling up your internet security. Oh, wow. All right. So, it seems to be compromised. The reason I'm telling you, sir, the error warnings you have 
it is not one or two, it's a huge number. And if I talk about the total numbers, so mm. the total numbers will be more than 117. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Yeah. Wow. So, do you have any idea what is the meaning of the Trojans and what it does? No, what, what, what happens? Okay, so I'm going to show you, sir, that what is the Trojans and exactly what it does so that you can understand what is a Trojan. And sir, before I proceed, i like to know that you are playing the Netflix on how many devices? Uh, my computer and my TV. Okay. So the Trojans you have, it's called csrss.exe. Have you ever heard about that? No. What is that? Don't think, sir. Go ahead and read these online, and after that, you will get to know what is the Trojans and what it does. So go ahead and read these online. Okay. Uh, Trojan allow attackers to access your computer from remote look steal passwords, internet banking. Wow. Wow. Is so what have? What can I do? Like that's that's bad, no? That's really bad. It is. So what have you learned after reading these all picture? Uh, after reading these all lines, what have you learned? There's uh, some sort after of. After reading these all lines. So these these Trojans are they are active on my computer right now? Yeah, it is more than 117, and uh, these all Trojans. It is not from today and yesterday. It is keep occurring. You can see the dates and time. Look at the dates and time. Yeah. See that? Oh, wow. Okay. So just give me a second, sir. And there are some VGSs that your network and your internet and your TV driver might be compromised. So let me show you something before I proceed. Okay. So do you see the foreign, ad foreign addresses? Yes. So any idea, any clue you have, what is the meaning of that and what it could be? Um, no, what is that? Now let me explain you what they are. These all are the third party information and these all are the unauthorized access who is trying to get into your computer, who is trying to get into your TV, who is trying to get into your network and who is trying to compromise your all kind of uh, internet services and also they are trying to steal your all kind of personal information. Wow. Okay, you can see that. Wow. Okay. So, before I proceed, i like to know that uh, what kind of online activity you do? Well, uh, on this computer. I check my email, Facebook, Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, I do shopping Netflix. online sometimes. Whatever the information you do and whatever the personal information you have, every information can be compromised. The reason I'm telling you, do you see the untrusted publishers, which is fraudulent, untrusted, untrusted? Yes. So, so these all are the links of the foreign addresses and help of these all links. They are trying to compromise each and everything. Oh, so wow. it is a problem you have. So, any questions you have before I proceed? Well, um, can I fix this or is it too late? Sir, we can fix that for you. So, first of all, sir, before I fix the problem, let me write down that uh, what are the steps I need to follow. First of all, sir, I need to remove all kinds of warning and error. Okay? Okay. Oh, I made a mistake somewhere. Give me one second, sir. Okay. What's happening going on? Just give me one second, sir. So, sir, first of all, sir, I need to remove all kind of trojans which you have. Okay. Okay. Let write down for you.
which is more than 117. Okay. And sir, after that, what we need to do, sir, we need to optimize your computer for the lifetime. All right. And after that, sir, we will go ahead and we will remove all kind of a untrust person who is trying to compromise each and everything. And after that, sir, we need to we need to go ahead and we need to install some good security on the computer so that you don't face any kind of problem again. Okay. And sir, after that, we need to go ahead and we need to remove all kind of foreign addresses who is trying to compromise each and everything. And once we clean the all Trojans and once we secure the network and your all kind of Trojans, everything will be working fine. Okay. So to fix your problem, it is going to take some around 45 to 60 minutes to fix your problem. So is that okay for you, sir? Uh, okay. How, uh, how much does it cost? Yes, sir. It will cost you some money. Let me show you the all options, all right, which we have. And according to your budget, you can choose any of them. Okay. All right. So just give me a one minute, sir. Give me a minute, sir. Let me put the all options across to you. Just give me one second, sir. Your computer performance is very slow. That's why it is taking time. Mm. Yeah, all right. So here we go now. Just bear with me, sir. So these are the options. You can see that on your screen. Let me explain you about every option. The first option gives you one year warranty and cleanup. Yeah. The second option gives you one year warranty, antivirus and cleanup. The third option gives you two year warranty, antivirus optimizer and error cleanup. And the fourth and fifth option gives you three year warranty, five year warranty. And all securities will be for the lifetime. So mm. you can go with any option which suits on your budget, which suits on yourself, which you think that it is good for me for my future reference and uh, as you know that the type of the problem you have it must be fixed and uh, if it doesn't get fixed you know that what are the consequences can be happen in future right. so okay. that's all I have to say and you can make the decision according to your budget and according to your choice so that's all from my end and now it's up to you okay well you know what I think uh, I'm actually gonna Disconnect his computer and, and take it to the to the local uh, computer store. So, uh, thank you for your assistance. Uh, definitely, sir. You can do that. But let me tell you one thing, oh. sir. If you disconnect the computer, okay, and if you trash the computer and if you purchase a new computer, okay. Yeah. So this all problem. It will be still remaining because there are warnings. It is keep coming from the network. All right. So mm. if you purchase a new computer and if you try to hook up the new computer with a faulty network, this all problem, yeah. it will be still remaining. Okay, and if you take yeah. the computer to the store, all right, if you take the computer to the store, they are not able to clean these all warnings and error because they just keep coming from the network, okay. all right, and that's why you have this trouble. And if I talk about your problem, sir, so your problem, it can be fixed by level two Microsoft certified technicians. Mm. Not by the uh, local technicians. Oh, All right. But not good enough. So it, is a so it is a problem you have. Right. So definitely you can go ahead, you can take the computer, but I don't think so that they are able to fix that. All right. So that's all I have to say, sir. And now it's totally up to you. Okay, well, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll give you a call back if I, if I find something better or not. Okay, okay sir. Thank you. Bye. So do one thing, sir. Yes. You can write down my number. In okay. the future, you can call me back whenever sure. you want. Yep. My number, it is going to be 1-800-565-5555. Yes. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. You too, bye.